Hey guys, what's up? I want to give y'all an auto detailer's tip or a uh, secret. I don't know what you want to consider it because, you know, always uh, back when I owned my own detailing business, uh, I always used to, uh, I had no secrets. Anybody asked me how I did something, I always showed it to them. But uh, what I'm here today, I want to show you something that uh, I've been doing for years with my personal car and uh, back when I used to detail, um, the mobile detail, I used to do it to my clients' cars. I'm here with my friend's car today. Oh, my friend's wife's car and um, I just finished drying it off but I know this is gonna get on your nerves because it gets on my nerves when I detail because I gotta wax it and the worst thing you want to do is hit a little bit of water that's dripping down from like a window or something because then you can't apply the wax right you know what I'm talking about I'm talking about stuff like this you know uh, let's see see how it's running off of here I'm gonna show y'all an easy way so that when you wax in or, or just drying so there's no runoffs to get rid of all that. And as y'all know, shop vacs or vacuums that are similar to shop vacs all have a suction side and a blower side. If you notice, I have my hose hooked up to the blower side. All right, uh, what I'm gonna do, make sure it's tight. Make sure you have a clean, it's clean on the inside because you don't wanna blow dirt all over the car and scratch the paint. And I'm going to show you how you can use the blower side to get all this water that's stuck up in here that you couldn't get with a chamois or a drying towel, microfiber, and all this other stuff up here. How to get it out so that when you're waxing or when the car drives away after just a wash, you can see right here, how to get it out without having water spots and all that so that it looks like crud, you know, when the sun hits it and dries it up and you got water spots after fresh detail. I'm warning you now, the vacuum's kind of loud, so if you want to turn down your headphones for headphone users, go ahead and do that now. All right, that was just a short demonstration. I got the rest of the vehicle to do, but as you can tell, it's still got some in here, but I got to get more of it out. Um, so it normally takes about an extra 10, 15 minutes to do the vehicle this way. But like I said, you ain't gonna have no water spots running. It makes it a lot easier to wax because you ain't got to worry about running to water, little water droplets. And as long as you keep going over it until you get all the water out, like I said, it only takes an extra 10, 15 minutes, but it makes a world of a difference and it makes your job waxing a lot easier as well as if you just throw a wash on it it makes it look better because as soon as you drive off you're not gonna have water dripping all down your vehicle I hope this um, auto detailing secret slash hint helps y'all out and uh, y'all have a great day bye